Do you guys remember the 7, 38, and 55 rule? I think I mentioned it a while ago in terms of communication. 7% um, of our information is communicated through words. Right? Mm -hmm. And 38% is through tone. So uh -huh. how the words come out. And then 55 is everything else, facial expressions, body language, gestures, postures, things like that. So it's actually mm -hmm. very, very important to, you don't have to, I guess, intentionally design the posture. For a lot of people, especially if you watch a lot of successful speakers, they have their own charm, like on TED Talk and all the different stages. You can you can feel how natural it is, and the more natural it comes to them, uh, and the more fitting. Which is another thing that Senia mentioned. You what 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 kind of audience that is, what kind of situation that is, um, giving all the information. It just has to be fitting, right? For something you don't want to try too hard. For other things you don't want to do nothing at all. So it's all about having the appropriate amount of um, uh, expression. Sometimes foreigners have this problem, which is the opposite of what we have as Asians. They do too much. Their gestures are a little bit all over the place. And that is also distracting. So it's all about having the right amount. Uh, but just want to bring this to your attention so that you know words matter, but there are a lot of other things also at play. It just forms the entire impression and we call it a whole package. It's the whole package. It's not just words and the content.